Hey, awesome people of YouTube, welcome back to another Bannerlord video. And in this one, we'll be talking about a lot better way to make money, a way to make more money kind of faster. But before we get into it, I just want to remind that if we can get to 575 subscribers by Christmas, we'll be doing $25 gift giveaway. And I do uh, giveaways down on my cake, link in the description. And I do have my own Discord, which is linked down in the description. We'll talk about all type of games and stuff like that. And today I will not be streaming, unfortunately, until later doing ASA, Arc Survival Ascendant, RP server, right? And uh, if you want to see any other videos on Bandalore, different games, do let me know down in the comments. But with all that said, let's get into this video. So, as I stated, this video is about how to make more money. And by that, I mean millions, millions, and even more. How much money you make is up to you. So, what you're gonna need is a little bit of smithing to start off, right? You don't need 200 smithing, you can get away with like 50, 75 smithing, right? Uh, the biggest things you want is efficient charcoal maker. So instead of uh, producing one charcoal, you produce three, you know? You wanna get curious smelter, so you have more chance of learning design one smelting, and uh, curious smith. You know, so you, when you make it, you, uh, when you smith, you learn new parts, right? The rest is you don't need to. But I would recommend if you do that way, you get experience smith for 10% chance of creating fine weapons. A practical refiner, refiner you can get or smelter. It's that one is up to you. Uh, then I'll go, you know, either vigorous smith or control smith. Depends which attribute you want. For next one. Artisan Smith or uh, Practice Smith, I definitely go with Partisan, trade penalty, so you can sell them for more. Uh, Master Smith, just so you can make a better weapon, and Endurance Smith, just for Endurance, you know, I don't like to go offensive. You can get more if you go with uh, Appraiser, and there's another small perks, but you can get away without them, right? The biggest thing is to get to 75. Curious Smith, Curious Smelter, and Efficient Charcoal Maker are the three things you need, right? Then what you're gonna need to do is, well, you think you might just start making the, the stuff. No, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need to start to collect two big things, right? Chabrin Throng Dagger and Pugio. Because when you smelt them, as you can see, it will give you one broth iron, three iron, one steel, and one fine steel. And you're gonna need them, right? And you just collect them, smelt them, just keep those items on you. Also, during battles or uh, in towns, you want to buy that javelins, right? Just to get a start off. So you can make basic javelins, you know? You want to start learning the process because you're going to need and uh, the, the, the best javelins, right? Just start off, make them, and... Uh, you still be able to make a little bit of money to slowly pay off that stuff. What I would recommend is looking how much each weapon sells for, because that would determine how much experience you get towards the smithing, right? But once you get all of this unlocked, which will not take you long, you know, especially if you get to 75 smithing, to take like two or three focus points, if that, and boom, you are good, right? So what you want to do is get a thin, fine, still healing spearhead, for your well, spearhead for uh, your brace, it's up to you. I like to go with riveted because spearhead, of course, because it's longer, you know, and it adds more weapon reach. Well, adds weapon reach and it's a higher quality. Now for your shaft, see, you can go. I like to go with mahogany javelin because yes, it adds weight, but it adds weapon reach and weapon and miss up piercing damage. Now adds two more and. Um, Weapon reach, then actually, no, well, it's about the same weapon reach as the, the basic one, but it also adds a lot more weapon uh, damage, you know. So, we'll go with that. And for your uh, pommel, it's actually a personal choice. I like to go with a spiked around spear pommel, right? So, we're gonna make one of them. Boom, right? We got no bonuses, so this is a basic one. Now, Let's see how much this basic one will sell for. 
19,000. 19 grand. Yes, I spent a decent... I spent some money. This is why you're gonna need about 50 to 100k started. But you can get away without it. It'll just take a little bit longer. And boom, 19k. Easy. And what did I spend? Just to make it this one. So we can... Uh, there we go. It cost one hardwood, one charcoal, three fine steel, and one steel. Right? And I can make them. Which is why you need throwing daggers. So you can get fine steel, steel. Right? It's going to take you three chapman throwing daggers to get that. And they're not going to cost you much. They At most, 1500 Right? For that, with woods, like 17, 1800, and you make 10 times that back, which will be a lot. So, I'm gonna spend about five, 10 minutes just crafting a bunch of those stuff, and we'll see how much money I will be able to make. And that is literally just a small process. 140, yes, it seems like a lot, but if you visit a few towns, you know, just for example, oh, it's gonna save, so it's gonna take a lot. Got to do this trick, unfortunately. So let's say you are in Azerai, right? You just visit all of Azerai territory, you'll be good. The only place that will not, for some reason, will not have um, Trap and Throwing Daggers or Pujo is Batanian territory. The best will be Imperial Turf. If you visit all of Imperial Turf or Pujo and Trap and Throwing Daggers, you will have a lot. So let me spend a bit of time, like 5-10 minutes, and we'll see how much money I will be able to make. So I'll be right back. All right, people, we're back. It took me a little bit longer. It took me like 15 minutes. But if you didn't know, while you're smithing, so you're smithing the best parts, right? And your main person is run out of stam uh, smithy stamina. What you can do is switch to your secondary or your third or whoever is in your clan, in your party right now. So you can craft a lot. So that's why there's some decent, well, not decent, but a little bit of smithing because I utilize them, right? We're out of fine steel, you know. We have quite a bit of crafted, you know, uh, javelins. And I had to go to the Nuska to get a bunch of hardwood because I was running out. But this is the Pugios that you want. Remember Pugios and Trap and Throwing Daggers you want. So, as you can see, unfortunately, the ones that were crafted by people who are not specialized into smithing are almost 12k. But that's still quite a lot of money, you know. And the best ones are 19k, as you can see. I actually got up to 23. So, we're going to just sell all of our stuff over here. See, it's just mainly javelins, with the exception of one noble longbow. But if I sell it all, we're going to get 865, uh, actually, about a million. Pretty close to a million, because we're going to get... 81k right here and the town will be negative 865 yes it took a bit of time to get there but you can make millions as you can see with this method you know the biggest thing is how much time you want to spend doing this you know how much time you want to spend buying the pugios buying trap and throwing daggers getting wood charcoal and setting it up right? it is a little bit um I said uh, a bit annoying and not necessarily hard in the beginning, but once you get it going, you can just make crap ton of money. That is probably the more uh, easier and better ways to make tons of money super fast. Now we're just gonna quickly go to Vostrom. You know, I'm at War Botanic because I took all the lands and I just want to be at War with everybody. But while we go to Vostrom, well, when we get to that, we'll see how much money you're gonna make. Right, and uh, yeah, and that is probably among the best towns because that's nearly 6k uh, prosperity, right? So let's go over here, and we're gonna buy Pugios, right? We bought 27, and it takes three, so we bought nine more crafted javelins, nine, and it cost us 6.2k, 6.2, right? Buy the Chapman throwing daggers, and we'll buy this much wood, so we got about say 10 uh, crafted javelins and we only spent 8k and if we sell 10 even for 12k that's still more than enough that's over 10 times 
around 15 times the amount of what we uh, paid for this stuff. Right? So look, we started with like around 400, 500 uh, K and now we're at 604. And by the time we get back to our territory, you know, to Batania, we would have made another two, 300 K easy. You know? That is why this probably is the more uh, way to get a lot of money fast. You know, once you get the setup, and the setup doesn't take too long, right? But with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned how to make money through another way besides uh, war, which is consistent. And I know a lot of you did not like that, but I appreciate you letting me know that you didn't like it. And if you do dislike the videos, do let me know why you dislike it. But with all that said, don't forget to stay awesome. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good one. See you in the next one. Bye bye.